Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial video from Meets of Empire. My name is Hossein, but you can call me Dark Cat. In this video, I'm gonna explain everything about horses, how to tame them, where is the best spot to tame the best and fastest horses, what is the easiest way to do it. Make sure you watch the video till the end to realize how you're gonna capture the best horses in Meets of Empire and let's jump to it really quick. So for this start, I need to explain you in Meets of Empire running is pretty slow, so you need to have a horse in this game to be able to even play the game. So what you need, you need first level 14 to be able to run horses and to make the saddles and stuff like that for taming. So make sure you do that. And for the be able to take a horse, I'm just going to explain from basic to advanced. So this is the, like the ultimate guide. I'm going to explain you everything. So first you need the rain and for to be able to make rain, you need to come here to the your recipes and come to the tame and recruitment and here you're gonna open the reins here and you can tame better horses like that so you can see for the first crude rain you need a level 14 to be able to make it so the more level the rain you make the higher level of the horse you can catch so there is many different levels of catching horses one way that the easiest way you need to do from a start is to make these wooden fences uh, around the spot that there is many horses in the area that you want to capture the horse yourself to be able to get taming a skill as you can see i have 729 taming skills by just riding the horses so when you ride a horse it gives you the taming level so there is also a better way that i'm going to explain it later so you i need to put the gate frame first so you're going to put the gate frame at the start you gotta put the door on it and you always want to leave the door open to drive the horse inside you just need to make a little base like this and to just have the horse inside there's nothing special about it as you can see i have the base for horse you just make such a base like this this is super easy you drive the horse in and you start taming it so i don't recommend doing this because there is an easier way of course at the start maybe to get some uh, early level for taming you need to do this but after that i have uh, such a base like this as you can see you can have a metal base i mean like very protected base to have two stable we have two people working on the horses in the clan you can see i have several horses from volcano in this stable and as you can see there is a, uh, there is a timer for each horse to tame so i have a troll here with 571 taming skill that he's doing my job he's just sitting on this stable and taming horses for me so when i clicking the plus next to the horse and i click the troll here and confirm i pay like a little bit of gold uh, for the troll to uh, be able to tame this horse faster for me so i'm gonna do this way one time so you can realize how this work so first of all the best location before we catch a horse is around volcano in this new map around here you find around 53 to 60 horses i mean the best gonna be around the snow because i also see the high level horses with full color so people says oh we got the horse in front of us that was easy so people say in the snow like there is a best horses the fastest horses you can find but it's really hard to do it so we're gonna do the volcano just make a base around the volcano and start catching horses high level as you can see i find the level 59 horse in front of my base so i'm just gonna catch it really quick with the rain so all you need to do pick up the rain and start following the horse and you have your horse following you so you don't lose it and be careful about the tigers wolves and stuff like that around the volcano because they're gonna one shot you if you are low level so as you can see you have the obedience anger break loose and ranking so the obedience need to go high to be able to capture and tame the horse when it's full you have the horse on you the anger when the anger goes to full the horse will drop you off so you need to wait a little bit till the anger goes down to be able to ride the horse again and the ranking is just uh, for the best way you're doing the horse like it's the game the mini game tells you how good you are taming the horse by the score and uh, that break loose is for doing the mini game by clicking left clicking and right click to be able to ride the horse more so i'm not gonna catch the horse by me sitting on it i'm just gonna let him drop me by with the anger goes full and i'm gonna open the door and put the horse go close to my stable that's how 
you need to put the horse in the stable i'm going to show you right now when he's dropping me off so here the horse is angry and you can see the obedience going up pretty quick so i don't think this gonna be a really decent horse but i'm gonna tell you when i put the horse in the stable that how good is the horse so i'm just gonna open the door for him go in close the door so that's it the horse is next to my stable i hold e and i put horse horse in the stable that's it i click on this and i put horse so now the horse is in my stable and you can see the horse have 27 hours to be tamed fully so that's the idea and that's the trick i need to explain you in this video if the horse is from under 30 hours or 40 hours the horse will be blue like these horses i got right here you can see all these horses are blue and these three other gonna be blue because they was 26 hours as the same as this so if you don't want to catch a blue horse you just click on this and you put to retrieve so the horse go out of your stable and then you can kill it to be able to catch another better horse from 50 hours to 80 90 hours it's gonna be a purple horse that's gonna be very decent horse to have it and from plus 100 hours in your stable gonna be a legendary horse and higher so this trick can helps you to get higher level horses by no time so i'm not focusing on catching horses 10 hours a day because i have a lot else to do for example farming so you just put 10 horse 15 horse as much as you have the limit you can see your limit of the horses by coming to this horse icon here click on the mount as as you can see i have 12 out of 12 horses this amount of horses go higher by doing your skill level as you can see if i go to the taming skill you can see here if i open these perks on top you can see if i reach 750 i can get three more horse and if i reach level 900 i can get five more horse so in general you're gonna be able to have 20 horse the maxes uh, you can carry so this is the 12 horse i fixed like i fill this stable up and i catch the horses you can even have a market next to it sell the blue horses that you don't want and cash out some money and you also don't forget to have food in your stable to be able to feed these horses so they don't die to the hunger and make sure you protect your stable really good so no one gonna raid your base and you lose some horses you just, that's it i just gonna go out and catch another horse that's all you needed to do about horses Make sure if you if I miss anything about this video guys, make sure you put it down below in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video.